What's up guys, welcome back to Diablo 3. Uh, my name's Maddie. I'm playing the Monk class. In the last video, we found the, fir uh, yeah, the first piece of the Glowing Sword uh, for Deckard Cain and the Stranger. And we're just finishing off exploring this map here. So right now our goal is to go back and talk to Deckard Cain. We also met somebody called Magda, who is the leader of some sort of coven. And uh, we should probably go and tell Cain about that as well. Uh, but she happens to be a central character to the story. Uh, she's pretty important. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll be running into her soon enough. Or more of her soon enough. And, uh, well, here's a random cave. This is what I've been looking for. It ha happens to be here. So, Savin Scavenger's Den. Level 1. I'll give you guys a hint. Whenever there's a level 1, it always means there's a level 2. <laughs> always. Oh, some champions. Fuck that. Okay. Leveled up. Alright. No problem. We got Crippling Wave. We got Northern Breeze. And that happens to be it. So let's see what we've got here. I'm glad that fate has brought us together on this path. Why is that? You fight with both Just reduces the cost. I'm going to keep my flashing tail kick. Soul must burn within you. Crippling Wave. Unleash a series of s large sweeping attacks that cause 110% weapon damage to all enemies in front of you. Every third hit damages all enemies around you and dazes them, slowing their movement speed by 30% and their attack speed by 20%. So that sounds pretty decent to me, so we'll go ahead and chuck that on. Let's have a look what it looks like. Whoa! That looks amazing! Okay, so it's like some sort of AoE attack, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna try it out. It looks pretty cool. I like the effect of it. Sweet. Okay. Oh, I like that a lot. This will probably be really great for me, actually, because, uh, I mean, there are benefits from having single target and AoE attacks, but, uh, I prefer to have AoE attacks because, more often than not, you run into groups of enemies rather than just one enemy. So, uh, I think it is worthwhile having some sort of AoE attack. And, uh, I like the look of this one. That's a good boss here. Hex the wicked. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Lagging a little bit, guys. Sorry. Protection shrine. Let's grab that. Probably could have grabbed that first. Alrighty. Let's go back here and see what he dropped. Sweet. Head back up here before we go around. Actually, we'll go around here. Uh, let's have a look if we've got any upgrades. Uh, that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. That's about it. Alright, so we've got some cool upgrades. Happy with that. Templar here has earned a new... A new ability. So we can either have him regenerate 4 life per second. For me as well. That's pretty cool. Um, I think I might get Intimidate. Yes. My power grows. Actually, we'll see if we can give him a weapon as well. Uh, we'll give him this dagger. This will help. And we'll give him a new shield. Because he's got a pretty, pretty lame one. There ah, we go. Good. Sweet. Alright, so we're just pimping our Templar out, no worries. I don't have enough spirit. I don't have enough spirit. Give me some more spirit. So as you can see, like, even though there's only a few enemies here, they always clump up on you, so it is... I think it is worthwhile to have a... decent AoE attack. I mean, on my Barbarian, I pretty much use Cleave throughout all of normal mode. Um... Actually, I had a wicked build for my Barbarian, where I would, like, 
I had a rush attack that was sort of like that, but it did massive damage to everything that I ran through. Uh, and then I had a stun, and when I would stun things, it would bring them closer towards me, and then I would just use Whirlwind and just cleave them all. And uh, it was massive AOE damage. I really liked it, actually. It was a sick build. Often I am sent to find them and punish them. <laughs> In the order, they are just executed. Ooh, okay. Damn the order. But the monk's got no problems with that. He'll just go deal with them himself. So we found the entrance to level 2. We'll quickly go check down here. See if we missed anything. So yeah, as I was saying in the previous video, I know... Oh, okay, it was a complete dead end. Um, I didn't really quite get to finish what I was saying because that... I got interrupted by that farmer. Uh, a lot of people complain about the graphics, and I think that if you haven't played a Blizzard game before, that's understandable. But um, you have to remember that this game is created using Blizzard's in-house engine, and it's not designed to have over-the-top Battlefield 3, Crisis 2 graphics, you know what I mean? It's designed to run on... There's some champions here. Uh, it's designed to run on a wide range of machines, and uh, I actually quite like the cartoonish, sort of, non-hardcore look of the game, I mean, I think it looks fine, I actually like the graphics, and I would actually dislike the game a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, I would actually dislike the game, period, if it had, you know, super duper high-end graphics, um, because, that's just not the type of game it is, it would just feel not like Diablo, if that was the case. Um, it also wouldn't feel like a Blizzard game. I, so, you know, like, it's really like, it's just, it's, there's no real comparison. I mean, graphics aren't everything in a game, right? Like, what's most important in the game is the gameplay. Uh, graphics help, obviously, but at the end of the day, if the graphics are awesome, the gameplay sucks, you'll probably end up hating the game, so. Just some food for thought. Kill this dude here. Tougher than the other ones. There we go. Grab that. A bit, bit more of that lag. Classic battle net lag. Grab this resplendent chest. It's always awesome loot in these resplendent chests. But uh, we're gonna have to throw something away here and grab these. I think it's time to head back to town and do a quick repair and a uh, vendor. I do kind of want to explore the rest of the map quickly, if I can. Okay. Alright, let's head out. Kill that thing. Alright. Yes. Okay, so Scavenger's Den, level 2 complete. He has not been dead for long. His killer is near. Okay. Another ambush. This is, this is quite new to me. I mean, I didn't find anything like this on my first playthrough. Some of these dead bodies lying around, and when you explore them, investigate them, you get ambushed. It's pretty cool. But I hope there's some kind of boss. I don't have enough spirit. Okay. Oh man, all of his skin disintegrated. Look at that. It's cool. Okay, so there's no unique or rare monster that's gonna jump out at me, I guess. So we'll just keep exploring up here. I do miss the teleport of Fist of Thunder, but I am liking Crippling Waves, so I'm gonna keep it. Let's continue to head up here. I'll drink some Coke Zero. I need spirit. This is going to sound like I'm a completely huge caffeine addict, which I'm not going to lie, I am. <laughs> if I don't have caffeine for a day, I start getting like really insane headaches. Um, to the point where I just don't want to wake up. So I, I need my caffeine, guys. I can't stress that enough. And I'm sure any big coffee drinkers out there who know anything about drinking coffee in the morning will probably feel the same way. But, uh... Oh, by the way, I just realised that my staff that I have has cold damage on it. That's why they're all being slowed and snared, which is another cool little thing in this game. Certain weapons are enchanted with fire, some are enchanted with poison. I hear a tree over here. 
Yeah, I remember one time that uh, uh there was a bunch of uh, like you go, you guys know how you can buy like cases of beer and stuff like that. You get like fucking thirty cans of beer in a case or whatever like that. Uh, you can get those with Coke as well. I don't even know why. I just explain that to you guys. I'm sure anyone knows that. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, one time I ended up spending like a hundred dollars at once just buying Coke Zero. And uh, I ended up having like, because it was like $18 for, for 20 packs, uh, I ended up getting like 120, yeah, 120 cans of Coke uh, all at one time. And, whew, best time of my life, I reckon. <laughs> Incredibly good. Loved it. So, uh, there's a little fun lore story for you guys about me. <laughs> Man, I'm so stupid. I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. <sighs> so we're almost done exploring this area. A few more goat men here. Moon clan warriors. There we go. One log. Destroy that. Destroy this bone pile. Uh, we're heading back up there in a second. Let's quickly explore this little bit here just to see if there's anything. I don't like the look of those trees. Be on your guard. Okay. Well, that's the map explored, except for that bit there, but I'm pretty sure we can leave that alone and get on with our day. So let's head back to town. Could we just teleport, actually? Uh, I might just do that. Right. Okay. All right, let's go talk to Decker Kane, and then we'll salvage some of our gear and vendor the rest. The witch Magda and those who serve her also seek the sword. Uncle Deckard, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leia. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven, but I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. Okay. So Stranger still hasn't regained his memory? Magda knows where the next piece is, but her words are a riddle. She said it fell where only ancients may tread. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leia. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leia, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. The Nephilim were ancient okay. humans with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle. I worked my hands to the bone. Okay, well I just cut Lee's off. Lee's voice off, so <laughs> sorry about that. Uh okay, so we've discovered where the next sword piece is, and Lee is gonna guide us there. Before I do that, I'm just gonna quickly salvage this gear. Let's see if I can use any of it. So no, 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 no. No, 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 Okay. Pretty much done. So let's just put those together. Oh, they're not the same. Okay. We'll keep them there. Go put this stuff in our special stash. My monk. And we'll head off. Okay, so we're looking for the Drowned Temple, which is where the next sword piece is supposedly hidden, so... Let's head over there. That Templar's shield is massive, isn't it? <laughs> Stolen sack, okay. After much searching, I have found a promising lead. A family near New Tristram has obtained a valuable relic, and poor fools that they are, they haven't the slightest idea what to do with it. I have some idea of what to do with their daughter, though. <laughs> and through her, <laughs> I'll get my prize. Okay, well, that sounded dirty. I am inspired by our friend here. You there! Please help! They're going to kill my friend! Oh, there's the scoundrel, okay. Thieves are going to kill my friend if we don't do something. Help me break these bonds and see for yourself! What do they want with your friend? She's just a farmer's daughter, Sasha, but she has a relic that the thieves are after. Oh, so I just read his book it's about deserted. some sort just of girl, and now this is happening. My sweet love will save me. 
Okay. Release the girl. The relic belongs to her. You actually believe what this scoundrel tells you? Fine, you fools. We'll kill them both. Of okay, well, what's we gonna have to fight these guys? Luckily, they're no match for my awesome crippling wave. There comes the leader. That ability is not yet recharged. Nigel Cutthroat is his name. <laughs> Was not too tough. We're demolishing him. There we go. <laughs> this isn't over. The rest of the Thieves Guild will find you. Okay. This looks like the Thieves Guild's after us. But we saved these guys, so let's talk to this scoundrel dude. Here's the relic, my love. I hid it like you asked. Father's grown suspicious of us. But that won't matter once we're married. Ooh. It won't be long, right? Of course, my dear. Soon <laughs> we will settle down to a quiet life of tilling the fields and raising brat uh, children. <laughs> but first, I have to sell this relic. Alas, I must travel away with my friend here to do so. You wish to join I can't even. <laughs> yes, yes. You look like you know a lot about markets. Now, lead the way. Alright, so I think he just duped that chick. Wait. Reminds me of Charlie Sheen. Relic is a fake. Gods, I should have known. Oh. You seem like you could use a helping hand. And I sure as hell don't want to stay around here. Please tell me that you're not considering this criminal proposal. Hmm. Anyway, it looks like we found... We found the Drowned Temple. But what of your betrothed? Betrothed? <laughs> Do I look like the marrying kind to you? By the way, my name is Lyndon. Okay. No, I do not. So Lyndon is the scoundrel and he is another follower. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Uh, initiate this cutscene up here. And this temple is not encouraging. Okay, so Leah's off talking to the spirit. Alaric. You must be Alaric the Guardian. Uncle Deckard told me of your eternal watch over this cursed place. I thought it was a myth. Are you Nephilim? No. There have been no Nephilim for a millennium. <laughs> Yet another myth. You seek entrance to this temple, but only a Nephilim can enter. If you retrieve the keys from the outlying tombs and use them on the gates, we will see who and what. You truly are. Follow me. I will raise the bridge that you may pass. Okay. Alright. Seek two tombs in the woods beyond. The warriors rest and the crypt of the ancients. Within them reside the keys to our sacred temple. Okay, so... Well, let's talk about the Nephilim. Apparently, there have been no Nephilim for a millennium, and they're like special kind of ancients or something. Uh, but yeah, so we now have to go into the festering woods and look for the two... Uh, the two places where the relics are, the beacons are. So we're looking for the Beacon of Honor and the Beacon of Light in the Warrior's Rest and the Crypt of the Ancients. <coughs> Okay, so I think this is a good time to cut it off here guys, we'll explore the festering woods in the next video. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.